Hi everyone, this is Narendra Kaur, and uh, I'm a mental health counselor, a life coach, and an energy healer. So nowadays, I'm getting a lot of issues re related to anxiety, depression, stress. जो काफी लोगों को हो रहा है, उनका previous जितने memories में past कुछ रह गए हैं issues, so वो anxiety create करते हैं. So I'm helping them. That to resolve that जितनी uh, pain memories हैं उनको बाहर निकालने में और उनकी anxiety और उनके depression को कम करने के लिए in fact uh, uh, lot of people are getting help and I take pre induction session first to know about the cause what you are facing and what you are actually uh, going through so you can log into my website www.narendakaur.in and you can book a counseling session with me you can uh, text me there is a number as well and you can book a pre induction session with me so that i can get to know what you are going through ki aapko kya issues aa rahe hain so today i was talking about uh, why after picture goals don't work after picture goals hote kya hain aur kya ye आपकी जिंदगी में जो हम पिक्चर एक बना के रखते हैं अपने माइंड में क्या वो काम करती है क्या एक्चुअली में हो पाता है वो सब चीजें जो हम सोचते हैं ये पिक्चर लगाने से एंड दीज थिंग्स सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैट वेरी रियलिस्टिक थिंग वेरी वेरी जेन्यन थिंग दैट कि हमें किस तरीके से अपने रेजोल्यूशन अपने गोल्स के ऊपर काम करना चाहिए हाउ वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन दिस एंड हाउ वी हैव टू टारगेट ऑल दिस सो दैट कि हम इमेजिनेटिव गोल्स ना बनाएं हम रियलिस्टिक गोल्स पे काम करें एंड हम रियलिस्टिक चीजों के साथ उसको अपनी लाइफ में लेकर आए राइट सो व्हेन मेनी ऑफ अस सेट गोल्स यू नो वी ड्रॉ अप ऑन अ मैजिकल आफ्टर पिक्चर इन आवर हेड्स लाइक आवर फ्यूचर सेल्स कि हम आगे क्या हमारा फ्यूचर क्या होगा एंड बेटर इन एवरी वे सराउंडेड बाय द सिम्बल्स एंड मार्क्स Uh, of what we have achieved but most of us you know leave the goal there and with the sense that since we are quite clear on what the end state looks like we should have no problem in uh, moving forward and achieving it i call this after picture goals so however lot of psychologists extensive research in this behavior change has been found that this type of goal setting is insufficient completely and in fact sets up for likely failure in life and we need to go a level deeper and carefully thoughtfully and consciously refer our process for defining the goal to have any chance to success so an after picture goal is just the first step now the real work begins so why after picture goals don't work while there are a number of bugs in the human operating system that give the way of our goal achievement there are a few uh, like especially tricky you know Uh, and they are all tripped up by the after picture goal so it's very easy to imagine an after picture but it's really hard to take action towards it most of us are unconsciously intimidated uh by big objectives without clear paths especially if the big objective is something very vague like be happy be successful unfortunately the easiest route when confronted with a big after picture is to do nothing at all am i right and imagine an after picture is incredibly motivating mm, for about a day and motivation is notoriously fickle after that initial boost of energy we can't rely upon it to get us through the cold mornings 
the necessary compromises and sacrifices. So on the days we really, really would rather do anything else. That's the fact. That after picture are like mm, by the nature, very rosy, very optimistic. They don't help us to prepare for the very inevitable setbacks or challenges. Instead, they bring out the worst in us. If we don't achieve that, the picture very quickly, we beat ourselves up as failures and losers. So we need a tool, right? that helps us to move beyond simply imagining what a goal will look like at the very end. And instead, focus on how to be successful in this process of achieving it. So I call it the VAMOS checklist, V-A-M-O-S. You can write it down, V-A-M-O-S. How this checklist works. The next time, whenever you are setting a resolution or a goal, use this checklist to help you for success in the journey. So number one is vague, V for vague. So is your goal really vague in any way? If it is, how can you bring it to a crystal clear clarity? What will it look like, sound like, or feel like when you are successful. So number one is vague. Is your goal vague or not? Number two is achievable. Does the goal like hit like that sweet spot between not ambitious enough to motivate me or too ambitious that it paralyzes me? So remember, this sweet spot is different for all of us. So is the goal is really achievable? Just make a point. Number two is achievable. Number three is meaningful. Is it personally significant to you? Or is it personally significant for you? How does it connect to your purpose in your life? Your values, your passion, your mission, your vision, how does it connect to this, uh, your goal? Do you have clarity or the why behind it, why you have made this goal. So number three is meaningful, which is uh, very important for making a goal. Number four is output. So what are the outputs of this goal? What will you get after this? And the daily actions you take and the habits you will need to cultivate, how will you track and measure it? So uh, the output needs to be measured and you need to know that what will be the output of that. Then number five is setback. So what setbacks do you think you will face as you pursue your outputs? Of course, whenever you make a goal, setbacks will come. So what setbacks will you, uh, uh, do you think you will face when you pursue this output? So when you inevitably to face them, how will you respond to this setback? So spending just a few minutes going through this checklist will help you to ensure you avoid many of the problems of after picture goal and orient yourself to a brand new mindset for 2022 of one that is focused on showing up each day the best you can for the journey. Great. Thank you so much. And anybody who needs any help, you can contact me. You can uh, reach me. S stay tuned to my channel on YouTube, on LinkedIn and Facebook. I'm there on all social media platforms. You can catch my book on Amazon, mm, The Phoenix from Ashes to Rebirth. It is all available on Amazon in a hardcover. And uh, it's completely a life-changing book on self-development. And uh, believe me, it's worth it. And you can get it from my website as well. Thank you so much. Namaskar, shukriya, and wish you all the best for your life and career. Stay blessed. Bye-bye. Take care.